right now at five tonight, we're learning more about the young boy killed when a small plane crashed into his mother's SUV and burst into flames near the North Perry Airport. He was one of three victims who lost their lives. This latest crash is just one of a number to happen near that airport in Pembroke Pines. Yeah, and that's raising a lot of concern for residents who live nearby. CBS 4's Joe Murray is live near the crash site with what officials are saying tonight. Joan? Good evening, Elliot and Lauren. Well, just a short time ago, investigators towed what was left of the wreckage of this plane, and now Southwest 72nd Avenue back opened for traffic tonight. It's hard to believe that it was just a day ago when we saw on that chilling video this accident unfold. And tonight, Broward's mayor is saying that this airport does have an average safety record, and for now, it will stay open. 24 hours after a small plane slammed into this SUV, it was towed away from Southwest 72nd Avenue just outside the North Perry Airport. The driver, Megan Bishop, survived, but her four-year-old son, Taylor, died of his injuries. Bishop and her son were heading north when the single-engine Beechcraft Bonanza seemingly dropped out of the sky, hitting the car before crashing and burning. The pilot and passenger were also killed. Every time somebody was like down or something, she would always do something to make us laugh. Students and staff at Hollywood Hills Elementary, where Megan Bishop, known as Miss Kiki, is a special ed teaching assistant, learned about the horrible accident Tuesday. My heart just broke for her. Her, her baby was her whole world. The fact that it was her, you know, I've seen it. It's just, you don't think that it's going to be somebody you know. And, and then her child, instead of, it's just, and she, I'm speechless. I'm just shocked. In the neighborhood next to the North Perry Airport, there is a universal uneasiness, a deadly crash hitting too close to home. I am a mother of two babies, and uh, we actually really, really sad about everything, and we are terrified because we walk with our babies on this street every single day. The plane clipped part of Jean Air Marquez's home. The plane passed over my house, and, and, the, and the screen, you can see the wheels, like, they scratched the screen on my pool, and, like, you know, we just went through, we just went through an accident like two weeks ago where a car went to my house. So, you know, it's already, that's enough. When you have a child that dies, it's, it's unimaginable. And Broward's mayor said there have been 14 accidents at North Perry in the last five years. He has asked the aviation director to look at safety records. Right now, unless we get another option, closing this airport isn't an option. It will create more traffic in other places. The family of Taylor Bishop has set up a GoFundMe page, they say, to help his single mother with expenses and find a permanent way to honor Taylor's memory. And at last check, the medical examiner said that they still do not have the positive identification of the pilot and the passenger. They are waiting on dental records. In Pembroke Pines tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.